Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to be creating an AI outreach agent that basically is going to take all the leads from a spreadsheet and then it's going to research each of those leads and write personalized outreach emails to every single one of them. And this is going to be all possible thanks to the new loop future from Lindy AI. And I'm going to be providing you... <clears throat> I'm going to be providing you with the template so you don't have to write all of this from scratch, but we are going to be talking about each of the modules so you, if you want to start from scratch, you can also do it as well. So the first thing that you will see in here is that we have a message to receive. Now, what do we mean with this message receive? This is when we are going to be testing it, it's kind of like a chatbot, which is inside of Lindy. So we are going to then be clicking what it says task. And we are going to be in there, we are going to be testing our AI agent. So that's why the trigger is going to be the message received. So which is when the user enters a prompt in here where it says task. Okay. Now the greeting message that I'm just uh, we are putting in here is, hi, send me a list of leads to reach out to. Can be direct names, emails, company names, or a Google Sheets. Perfect. Right. So now we have that. This is the message. That's how it's going to be greeting you. And then here we're going to have the AI agent. Again, if you don't like any of these, for example, then we're going to have an email. I'm going to be showing you how to modify them just in case you want to do something else. But just to kind of already show you, uh, you can click what it says in here. These are notes. This, each of these are considered notes. And then it will just ask you perform an action, then which action. And then you can go through more than 5,000 different actions. Okay. And that is like, for example, email, a calendar. Uh, whatever, calendar, etc. So um, so that's how it will be. Let me delete this. So I'm just going to select here, delete. So everything works kind of like with these specific nodes. So again, the template has already provided to you the these different nodes and the configurations, but you can literally start from scratch and it's super, super simple. So anyway, we have the message received. Now we have here the AI agent, which is, we are saying in this prompt, which is if the user give you a Google Sheets link, get the spreadsheet. And that's actually what we are going to be doing or how we're going to be testing it. Then it says, if they give you a list of leads directly without the actual Google Sheets, then uh, proceed with the next step, okay? Which is going to be, we're going to see here, enter the loop. Now, the model here that we are uh, we are currently using is Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, but you can change the model. And now here it says uh, skills, right? Uh, skills, that's going to be as you are seeing here, getting the express seed. So you can add different skills by just clicking this plus button. Now, again, we just want the express seed just in case the user give us a express seed, right? So that's the AI agent. Now, once we have AI agent, you're gonna have here a little condition. It's kind of like saying, um, so again, you can have this exit condition, which is once the AI agent has all this for information, is able to gather the different rows and all that, we are having and exit, which is get out of this AI agent once you have the list of leads, including emails. Okay, perfect. So then it's going to enter a loop. So this is the new future, which is it's going to loop every single one of the items and it's going to be able to run it in parallel, which means imagine that you have 500 columns. That's a lot and that will take you forever, right? But this with these loops and they are called agent swamps. And they are going to be able to run in parallel this action. So you're going to have emails for all of them almost immediately. And you're going to see with the testing. But anyway, as we're seeing here in the loop, it says uh, item, items to look through, which is each lead that you receive. And then you can have maximum of cycles, which is, let's say that your uh, your Excel sheet is millions, right, of different leads, right? Uh, but you just want to test 500 or you want to go 500 at a time. Then you can have here a max cycles of 500. Okay, perfect. And then we can leave the output that the AI will automatically fill this output. Perfect. So we have the loop and inside of the loop, now that we have each of these leads, so if it's going to run one time, that's one lead, then another loop, that's two leads. So for each of these loops, which is the first lead, we are going to be searching and it has here through perplexity. Okay, so what we have in here inside of the search through perplexity is uh, we are going to have the query, right, that we have from the AI, which is the full name and the company name. So we are gathering from this AI agent from before. We are going to have the full name and the company name, if you have it, of the lead. Now, because in my fake spreadsheet, 
I'm going to have made up names, then I'm just going to get rid of what it says, the full name. So I'm just going to have the company name because the company name is going to be on the email. But again, those emails are completely fake of different people. Uh, so that's why I'm having here the company name. Perfect. And then you can have the model, which is Sonar. That's the perplexity one. It's really, really good. So we are just going to keep that model for the search. OK, perfect. So. The next thing is when we have searched all the information, we're going to get that output. And from that output, what we are going to be doing is sending an email. So we are going to have here sending the email and then it's going to be two. And this we're going to let the AI use it or choose whatever um, it thinks that is going through. So it's going to see from the spreadsheet which email is going to go through. So it's going to fill it up the two. Awesome. Then we are going to have the subject as well. It's gonna we're gonna let it on auto also the body perfect amazing now because i don't want to just send emails right away i can click here and i could say for example we can just say replace if i don't want that one and i can go into gmail and i can just say for example draft an email okay so now it's going to be drafting emails for example and then here i'm just going to have the exit loop so this exit loop is once it has done everything it's going to exit this loop and then lastly we have an ai agent that is just going to cut everything so this is just kind of like an exit ai agent okay so that's pretty much how this works right now if we want to test it, the first thing is because i modify some things i'm just going to save it amazing and then you can also play with the settings. So in here we have the settings. So if you want to describe it to provide more context, I, for example, will say something like you are an outreach agent. Okay. Outreach agent that has to draft, has to draft, personalize. Well, actually probably we can say that has to, that has, access to the spreadsheets then it's going to research each of the leads and send a draft email okay so something like that so as access to the spreadsheet then is going to it's going to research each of the leads and send a draft email perfect so we have another context amazing now we can also save it and now it's actually time to check it out if it actually works or not. So we have here, and it's asking me, hi, send a list of leads to reach out to. Perfect. So I'm gonna go into my Express seed. Again, this is all made up. So I'm just gonna click where it says, sir. I'm gonna copy the link. Perfect. And I'm gonna go back, and I'm just gonna paste it. Okay, and let's see how it handles everything. So I'm gonna be pasting that. And the first thing is, Remember, we had a link, so it needs to get the specific express it, and it just did. Okay, so you see here, get a spe uh, the specific one. Amazing. And now we just enter that loop, remember? So now what it's going to be doing is going to be researching for each of the companies that it's going to gather from the emails or also from the middle uh, column that it was like the company. It's going to do research through perplexity and then it's going to draft an email. So we are going to see here, I'm just going to uh, go into here that it already has done it. That's how fast it is. And we can see that it has drafted four different emails. Okay, so I have it in here. Amazing. We have enhancing Netflix, whatever. Amazing. It has researched what is the latest updates and all that. So perfect. We have here the different emails. Now you can put a lot more information of what you want, right? This is just a very simple demo. And I was showing you how you can modify it. But now we have the four different emails in here. And if we want to send it, we can just send it or I'm just going to cancel for this uh, in this case. So I'm just going to cancel and that's just going to stop the actual loop. So for example, I'm just going to hit in all of them cancel. Okay. Perfect and cancel. All right, so now it's kind of loading a little bit and you're gonna see that this loop will finish once you have canceled everything because that's the last step. And that will be all. As you're seeing here, exit loop, perfect. So it has completed everything and it gives you a summary. So as you just saw, it's quite amazing, super fast, and you can do so much stuff with it now that it can run in parallel and go through a lot of different content and also running the actions in parallel. So hopefully you liked it and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.